Hey everybody, I'm Adrian Funk. Welcome back to my channel. And today's pretty fun because we've got an unboxing and it's big. Uh, you can tell it's CGC because it's from Sarasota, Florida. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Oh yeah, these are books that I had sent to, uh, which con was this? I've never received a package this big before, so I'm expecting several slaps. And um, I usually don't pay for fast track, so it's been maybe six months and I, I don't, I can't honestly remember what books I've sent out. So let's see what they are. Now, the thing I really like about CGC's packaging is that they really know how to protect um, books that you send in. So you can tell the packaging here, very neat, organized, and secure. Um, but yeah, let's, let's find out which ones these are. Now, before I look at these, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Justin Hess over at uh, The Comic Monster. Uh, he is the facilitator I went to in order to get these books signed over at the uh, Heroes Convention in Charlotte uh, this past June. So yeah, huge shout out to him. He has um, done books for me in the past. And basically what a facilitator is, is someone who goes to a convention that you can't go to and gets your book signed for you. So um, yeah, check him out on Facebook. He's a great guy. Uh, yeah, highly recommended. All right, so let's pull one out. Oh yeah, amazing. So this is uh, Detective Comics number 40. Let's see if we can not get glare on this. It's probably really impossible. This cover is by Brian Stelfries, and this is a uh, Matrix inspired cover. DC did do a whole um, series of these uh, movie variant covers. You've got Catwoman as Trinity right here. You got Batman as Neo, of course. You've got the Red Hood as Morpheus. And then I think that's Commissioner Gordon as the guy who betrayed everybody. I can't remember his name. I'm not so much after um, a really high grade. I kind of just wanted to have um, a signature and have it slabbed. Uh, I am pretty happy it's a 9.0, um, but yeah, just a really cool cover. This will definitely go up on the wall. So cool. Uh, this one's really cool. Uh, this is Wolverine number 55. The shock and suspense homage variant. I just, this is by Greg Land, the cover. He, he's made some pretty cool covers. This is the one I knew I wanted signed. The homage of um, like one of the earliest uh, decapitation covers, except this time it, instead of a woman, it's Sabretooth's head and you know, instead of an ax, it's Wolverine's claws. And then I, I really appreciate the, um, the classic title treatment at the top too. 7.5, it's okay. Most of these um, these books I'm slabbing weren't for grades. They were just for my personal collection, but yeah. Next up we have X-Men Grand Design number one, cover by Ed Pisker, Piscor. Uh, yeah, this is uh, one of the hard to find variants uh, of this issue. It's the Stan Lee POW variant, and this is a, I think this is a, a, an homage to a Fantastic Four cover, actually. Yeah, it says Fantastic Four World's Greatest Comics number three variant, or uh, homage variant, and, and his art style is just ridiculous. Just for the record, yeah, the, uh, the X-Men Grand Design run is like incredible. The paper they use for the issues are the material I've never seen in a comic book before. And uh, 
the art style is just like, every page is just this cool. So I would highly re recommend picking it up. This is 9.6. Yeah, love it. Now the next book I had slabbed is the Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number eight, the classic black costume cover uh, signed by Michael Zeck. And this was a book that I've had for a while and it's a, it's a 2.5. That's a pretty low grade, um, but I wasn't trying to get a high grade on this. I just wanted this copy to be slabbed and signed. I was actually more after the signature than anything. Uh, I bought this book for like six bucks somewhere a long time ago. So I uh, just didn't really want to spend the money on like a nicer copy. I, I liked the copy I had. The colors were good. The spine's pretty ticky, as you can tell. But otherwise, it's a pretty solid copy. It has white pages, which is a really cool cover. Spider-Man getting the black costume first time. It's kind of a bummer because uh, there's some Newton rings on this one. Let's see if you can, there you go, you can really see it now. So Newton rings or oil spots, for those of you who don't know, are um, I guess when the, this plastic case is pressed too close to the comic that's wrapped in another layer of plastic, it creates this wet spot. It's not really wet, it just appears to be. And it just kind of makes it look a little gross. Um, it only appears in certain angles. Actually, this one shows up in almost every angle. Uh, but yeah, so far this is the first one that had them. The last two didn't. If it did, I didn't notice it, but this one's the first one where I was like, yep, there's, there's the, the Newton rings. The next book I have is uh, Spider Geddon number zero. Uh, this was first introduced at last year's San Diego Comic-Con, and this is a Francesco Francavilla cover. He's a pretty popular movie poster artist. Uh, he's done a lot of work for Mondo. He's only done a few covers of Spider-Man and when I saw this, I knew I wanted to get it signed. There's just like so much detail. It's numbered here. This one's 38 out of 1500. It's 9-2, I'll take that. It says that it's numbered on the back. But yeah, really cool. Feels kind of like a horror movie. You even got the the 1960s Spider-Man, that's so great. So this next cover is actually the cover that introduced me to Bill Sinkovich. I actually seen it in a poster, and then I was like, I wonder if that's also a comic book cover. And it turned out it was, and I was like, I'm getting that signed. And so this is Ultimate Marvel Team-Up number six. I would say it's kind of like a like a subtle homage to the um, first appearance of Punisher, where he is also, um, you know, he's got Spider-Man in his sights instead of like a giant sniper rifle, and now it's just a pistol with a, a laser sight. And I just really, really liked it. And I like how Spider-Man Spider Sense is going off. There's the signature. I'm a huge fan of Bill. He, uh, his work just always feels so, um, it, it's like messy, but like in a cool way. Uh, we're gonna keep going on the Bill train. And uh, this next one is the Marvel Masterpiece 2, collection number two. Now how badass is this Wolverine cover? You know how earlier I said that um, part of the reason why I like Bill's work is that it's because it's kind of like messy and sloppy, but like it still reads really well. well this is definitely a, a better example of that. Kind of has like a splattery 
look and texture streaky because that's a way to describe it uh, this actually was a, a marvel card um and so i remember when i saw this cover i was like that looks so familiar and then i'd remember this was a card before and yeah i was like i'm getting that signed nine four not bad but this is this uh, actually isn't a um, a traditional comic book. This is actually a uh, collection of other um, pieces from other artists. So it's kind of like a compilation of art, and not so much a comic book with a story. But the fun thing is, you get to see people's art on a in a comic book scale. And the last but not least, uh, not only is it the last book in this box, but it's also the last Bill Sinkovich um, thing I had signed is the Maximum Carnage number one. I had actually tweeted to Bill Sinkovich asking if he had anything to do with this cover because I had read rumors and uh, heard stories that he he did do this cover so I wanted to see if he would answer me and he did and he actually said that he had created um, Spider-Man Venom and Carnage separately and then Marvel at the time put them all together for the video game, um, Maximum Carnage, using only Carnage. And then this variant ended up putting them all together. And it's interesting because compared to the last two books, this doesn't look like Bill's style at all. And that's kind of why I like him because he actually has a few, or has gone through a few different art styles in his career. And this cover is actually really hard to find. It's a five, but I don't really care. So, all right, guys, that's my haul. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit the like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.